Amid scientists considering a dispute over exploration of energy sources in the East Mediterranean, Turkey is developing hypersonic missile and laser weapon technology. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan conveyed the weapons development when announcing the start of the domestically made liquid fuel rocket engine test for a space mission project. I would like to announce the start of the first space trials of the domestically developed liquid fuel rocket engine technology, Erdogan said at the opening of the production facility and research center of Turkey's leading defense company, Rocketsan, in Ankara on Sunday. We will also continue our efforts to develop a hybrid-fueled rocket engine, he said, quoted from Anadolu. He said Rocketson had developed high-capacity hydrogen fuel cell technology, a clean energy source with applications for the aerospace sector, as well as aviation and transportation. The GPS receivers required for precision-guided munitions and weapons systems have also been produced domestically for the first time, the president said. We are working on future technologies, such as miniature weapons, hypersonic systems, and laser and energy weapons using electromagnetic technology, he explained. President Erdogan stressed that Turkey does not tolerate coordination in the defense industry. In particular, we have never received products from abroad that we can make domestically. We have revived our nearly paralyzed defense industry, he said. Inspired by the noble legacy of our ancestors, we reduced our defense industry's external dependence from 70% to 30%, he added. He pointed out that Turkey is one of the top countries in the production of UAV, armed UAVs and offensive UAVs. Our Bayraktar TB2 armed UAVs can easily hit targets with a laser-guided 230mm missile system. This new development will mainly undermine our strength on the front lines, Erdogan said. The UAV weapon produced by Bayraktar TB2 was developed and developed by the Turkish defense company, Baker Technologies.